Hello, welcome to UberTech. Today we're going to be modifying an old graphics card and see if we can make it look better. To start, I'm going to be removing the four screws on the back of the PCB, and then we can remove the heatsink, making sure to unplug the four pin fan cable. Next, we'll remove the four thumb screws on the back of the I.O. plate so we can then remove it after taking off one more screw. Next, we'll remove the four screws on the heatsink so we can separate it from the shroud. And there we are. Now we will separate the fans from the shroud by removing the three screws on each fan. Also removing the cables as we go. And now, this assembly is all over, it's time to start modifying. We'll start with making a custom backplate out of Luon. We're using a drill press to drill four holes in it so we can later screw it in. And after I was done with all the holes, I made it nice and buttery smooth with sander. And also, we wood burned my logo in the back using some paper and a wood burner. I didn't catch this on camera, but this is how it turned out. Next, we added some stain to make the wood a little bit darker. While this was happening, I was also painting the shroud. Unfortunately, I was not able to catch this on camera, but you'll see how that looks in a second. Now, all the components are finished. We painted the I.O. plate gold, though this was a pretty bad idea, and you'll see why later. I painted the shroud white, as you can see, but I think the paint could have turned out better. I also added some cloth to help the vibrational noise from the fans. And the GPU we just kept in a safe place and didn't mess with. Also, I added some veneer to the fans to give them a little bit of a wood appearance, which goes with the back plate, which I think turned out okay. And here's the back plate, dry and in its full glory. And it's time to start putting it together. We'll start with the shroud, and we'll slot in the fans, and then we'll route the cables just as they were originally. And now we can start putting the screws in. Made it a little bit difficult with the added cloth because I had to recenter it after I realized I didn't exactly have it in the right spot. And once I had it recentered, I finished screwing it in, and the first fan is complete. And the second fan was a little bit harder than the first because I had it in the wrong position again. And I kind of had to take it off camera and try to fix it, but once I got all that taken care of, I finished it up. And now we're going to add the heat sink back on, just placing it in the same position it was originally and reinserting the four screws. And it's time to add back on the I.O. plate. And we'll start by adding the big screw on the end. And now we'll add on the DVI thumb screws. And I had a little bit of trouble because I got the first big screw in wrong, but after a little bit off camera, I was able to get everything figured out. And there we go. Time to add the shroud, heatsink, and fan. Also making sure to plug in the four pin fan cable on the corner. Also before you're the commenter to start yelling at me, type in comments like this. That was just a joke, I am adding Arctic MX4 thermal paste, 
and there will be an Amazon link to it in the description. And also, if you buy it through there, you'll be supporting the channel, so I'd be grateful. Now, we're going to add the four screws that are on the back, and do it in a crisscross fashion so it doesn't put too much stress on the PCB. Also, we added the back plate, and we did it in a little bit of a weird manner. We used some maze nails, some springs, and some solder. Uh, you could do it with normal standoffs and screws, but I kind of like the look of this. Also, this is what I was talking about, about not painting that part, because when you slot it in to the case, it just really scratches all the paint off. And that's how it turned out. I think it looks pretty good. Well, if you like this video and you want to support the channel, it's not that hard to click that like button, you know. If you want to subscribe, I hope to be posting further content similar to this. And if you have a request for a video in the future, then just comment down below. And I might be able to do that as long as it's not too crazy or whatever. Bye.